has two very important functions. One is to indicate the new situation has come. I'll give you two examples. The weather is fine now. It means the weather was not so fine before, but it becomes quite fine now. Okay, so if I'm going to write it in Chinese, 天晴了晴了 It's too long. The hook is too long. I make it smaller. 天晴了天 the weather. Fine, 晴了了 is here to indicate. The change, the new situation, is 晴晴 means sunny itself. Okay, another sentence. It has started to rain. 下雨了下雨了 So 下雨 means to rain, and the、uh, 了 itself implies the change of the situation. It was not raining, but it is raining now. 下雨了 We don't have to refer to it with any word. Just say 下雨了 We understand. Nothing else would rain, but The sky. Okay, let's look at another situation. That、uh, something has been. Okay, let's look at another situation that look would be used. It means something has has been completed. The example is: I have done the homework. 我做了这个作业做了作业Okay, here. 我 I 做 do 了 turns 做 into done, and 作业 the homework. 我做了作业了 To make the verb 做 a past complete sentence. She has gone to Beijing. 他去去 means to go to 北京北京了 She goes to Beijing and la. Makes it a past complete sentence. He went to Beijing. La. It is quite tricky to know when to use la after the verb and when to use la at the end of the sentence. 
and it's not easy to learn all the information at once. <laughs> actually, it is actually le um. It's probably the most difficult, most subtle word to learn in Chinese, and、uh, I don't even want to tell you how to and when to speak liao, when to use le as a liao this time. Enough information for le. Let's talk about another character. Next time.